What's up, Starlight Aquatics? This is uh, Danny back with you again on an update. We, uh, these two are doing great. The uh, turquoise, blue turquoise, a blood pigeon. And uh, we just got a new addition to the tank. This is a cobalt. It's a wild green cobalt. He's hanging there back here behind the, the plants and whatnot but uh good looking good looking dude uh, let's see if i can get they're all sticking together there he is still a baby but um you know other than like these guys they got a lot bigger you can see in size He's the he's the biggest one, the blue turquoise, and then uh, you can see comparison side by side, and then uh, you have uh, her, which uh, she's smaller than him, but uh, with, uh, the green heckle here, being a baby, I'm gonna raise him up like I do all my other ones. Got some beautiful markings, nice fin structure, color. Got the nice black line straight through the eye. Nice heckle marks. Gonna be a great addition to the tank. Where are you going? Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. <laughs> Alright guys, well anyway, that's an update on the uh on the tank. It's uh coming out great. You know, I got the uh the, the new addition green heckle my uh his wisteria plant is doing great i do my uh i do my feedings every wednesday uh i also got my swords they're doing great those uh those are temperate the little grasses those are actually the only plastic thing that I have in the tank yet. You know, these two little grasses and uh, and those little tall green ones. My nice, beautiful hysteria. Wisteria. I hope I say that right. Uh, and then I have my two African swords, which uh, I got to do one little leaf trim so it stops sucking the nutrients out of that one bad leaf and and then pop it in this one went back all the way and uh i mean it was looking real rough and then it started blooming up real good uh i tried a uh new fertilizer and i tell you what that's only probably about three weeks and it's all that new growth i mean it's just popping up i do need to get a better light because it just has the uh the little lights up there so that was kind of a gamble anyway but uh my Miramo moss balls always a plus to have in your tank um you guys get these uh miramos uh they they, they help really take out any kind of like imperfections and and the and the water you know really really good for the the whole tank to begin with so all my glowfish my tetras my neon tetras i'm going to talk a little bit more about this <clears throat> it's uh my imaginarium aquarium that is the power head and then i'll show you how i made one of these with a little sponge and uh just some uh biomedia really uh, this actually puts good stuff into the tank um, and it also the sponge acts as a little extra scrubber um, some worms get stuck there they like to come by and just pick them off you know um, the Eheim uh, heater is doing great it keeps my water right where I, I need it to be you know, I like to keep it at 84.6. Uh, I aim for 84.5. I always do the .5 with whatever I do. But uh, 
like I said, I have a, uh, I did update and uh, do a, uh, a video on that because my old one went up. And uh, this one's a, uh, you can see, I got it running up and along the the back, and then it comes down to the the little uh, the little probe comes down, has a little suction cup. That's uh, really cool, guys. You can get these, and um, it just takes a a little battery. You just slide it out. You never get your hands wet to change your battery. Always know what it uh, what the temperature is. You can turn it off and on. I leave it on, but uh, you know, what's a battery? A couple, what dollar, two dollars? Let her run. That's what I always say. Eighty-four point six. Eheim's running great. Fish are doing great. Plants are doing great. Beautiful tank. The. Uh, there's a video on um, on exactly what I use, and uh, if I haven't, uh, I'll correct that by making a video since I mentioned it in this one. But uh, once again, there's my wild caught green heckle. Good looking dude. He's gonna do just fine. They've taken him, and that's really good. So. Once again, this is Starlight Aquatics, signing out. Have a good one, guys.